now with the balloon boy hoax that captivated the country. Hard to believe it's been 10 years. You remember the story, a boy trapped in a helium balloon flying over Colorado. Well, the whole thing turned out to be a hoax. He is a teenager now, and TJ sat down with him. His family standing by the story? Yes, and so you remember this. We yes. were all glued yes. to the TVs, watching this weird saucer, and we were concerned. Is this kid going to fall out? Is he in there? Is he okay? Is he going to hit a power line? We were genuinely concerned. Well, the police say we were all taken for a ride that day, and now 10 years later, Balloon Boy, is balloon teen and I went down to Florida to visit with him and it's clear the dad is not ready to let this go. A search is underway for a six year old boy who may or may not have climbed into a homemade helium balloon. Who could forget this wild ride? Possibly a six year old boy in this balloon. 10 years ago, millions watched in horror on live TV as a homemade saucer believed to be carrying a six year old boy drifted across the Colorado sky for nearly two hours and some 70 miles. When it finally came down, this may work out. He's, he's, he's touching the ground. Five, four, three. No boy on board. Turns out he was home the whole time hiding in the attic. Police called this whole thing a hoax. The world would forever call him oh. Balloon Boy. What's your reaction to it? I'm just like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> Here he is today. Falcon Heaney, that little boy from the attic, is now a lanky, long haired teen. Jeez, man. Yeah, it's a lot. The hair comes in handy. He's lead singer in a heavy metal band he formed with his brothers, Rio and Bradford. And check out the music video for one of their first original songs titled Balloon Boy, No Hoax. The video even features Falcon flying around on a saucer. Have you thought about any strategy for using it to your advantage? You are Balloon Boy. <laughs> I haven't thought about anything, actually. Maybe I should. His dad, though, 10 years later, is not laughing. Richard Heaney stands by his story to this day that he, his wife, and three sons were working on the saucer in their backyard with home video cameras rolling when it got loose and they feared Falcon was in it. But police had doubts early on that it was all a publicity stunt. And this CNN interview sparked public speculation when little Falcon seemed to slip up. We did this for the show. Man. Heaney says he was a victim of character assassination and fires back at any suggestion that it was a hoax. And how, after you stack all that stuff, throw in the interview that was on CNN with Wolf Blitzer, you throw all that together with a background you have, why, won't pe why wouldn't people go? This is another hit away? piece. This is another hit piece, which I anticipate. Here? Yeah. What would be nice is if the media could actually go, yeah, Richard's got a point, but it's, but it, but it's so biased, okay? The media continues on with the same narrative. All these years later, and we're talking 10 years now, do you feel a sense still that you need to clear your name? Oh, most definitely. I've lost many opportunities. I've lost a lot of opportunities. I've had people contact me about things I've invented, and the deal went south, on, you know, because they find out who I am. And the thing that gets me is the media never tells my side of the story. Police at the time said the family, which had already been on a reality show, staged the stunt to gain fame and more reality show opportunities. Richard and his wife, Mayumi, eventually pled guilty to related charges and served minimal jail time. After Mayumi confessed, but she says out of fear. You thought somebody would actually take your boys away from you after all this? And I thought I'm, I'm going to be deported. Yeah. Then I won't see my husband or, you know, kids. I, I won't be able to see them. Mayumi says the ordeal brought the family closer together. The Heaney boys, who were all homeschooled, now fix up houses with their dad in Florida and have big plans for a music career and a future far away from their family's infamous floating past. We don't really want to associate ourselves with that. We, we can want to rock out. All right, Richard Heaney has a website he maintains. It's called The Truth Internet Historian, to where he wants people to go and see his videos where he builds his case still today, 10 years later, that he's saying he needs to clear his name and this was not a hoax at all. So again, these boys, the, the young fella is kind of shocking to see him, but these are, are good kids who are teenagers who are into dirt bikes and do their thing and as normal as anything after what they've done. And we all know about the band. We know about the band. <laughs> the Heaney Boys is what they're called.
All righty um, then. I don't know if I can say <laughs> thank you or what, but I'm going to say you're welcome. <laughs> Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.